Hey everybody, welcome back. We have a sweet offering from CJRB. This is the Rampart. Uh, its official number is J1907-GYF. Now, this has Jade. Oh, Jade. I got Jade on my mind. I can't get out of that my mind that Gobi. Hopefully you guys have seen that review. If not, go check it out. The CJRB Gobi is awesome. I can't get that out of my mind. Okay, this is not Jade. This is a G10. But it's in like a, they call it gray, but to me it's almost like a blue jean material. You know, you can see it compared up here, kind of like a gray blue. But it's got some texturing to it, so that's kind of cool. Gives it definitely that, that really good texturing on both sides. Now it might cause a little problem with the clip there, because you got a, a deep carry clip, but it's kind of recessed, so you see how far we're sticking out of the pocket. Rejoice, lanyard fans, you have a hole. Um... It's got a big Warncliffe blade on it. So it's kind of a wicked design though, if you look at it. You know, it's uh, it's got that huge blade. And just look how thick that is coming up towards the tip. It gets a little thicker out here. And I like that, but the, it's a liner lock. Um, you can Let's see the lock up here. So just shy of 50%. Um, this one has a little bit of recessed area cut out so you can access that liner lock Which is cool for me because I'm not a huge liner lock fan, but they're growing on me The only negative to this flipper this jumping there's no real jumping here So that's one because you got to make sure to get on there, but it's pretty flat So at least it's it's got enough to go um, You got a little kind of soft. I call it soft jumping maybe ripples Maybe that's a good name for it instead of jumping ripples. Um, which, you know, I guess it gives your thumb a place to land, but it's not going to stop it. You know, which in true jumping, you want it to be able to lock in a little bit. So maybe if you're wearing gloves or something, that might, but it's not real. It's kind of just rounded. So that would be a, a pointer. But with this heavy blade on the end, it like, it shuts real easy, real smooth, you know. But flipping it out, it takes that little bit extra. You know, um, so, but handle wise, real thin, you know, I have a large glove size hand. So you can see there, you're going to get everything you want out of it. Um, get some good action going. So I kind of like that. I kind of like the handle feel of it. The pocket clip sticks out a little bit, but you can carry it right or left handed. You have some accents. These, a uh, little bit of gray liners on it, but you have some pivot collar ring accents in like a bronze color. Now the blade itself is three and a half inches long. The handle is 4.72 inches. The overall length is uh, about 8.15 inches long. Like I said, it is liner lock. It's in the D2 tool steel. So you can see that on the blade. It is made in China from CJRB, which is the artisan cutlery budget line. It has a flat grind that's stone washed. We've kind of looked at that. Just a monster of a blade for some chopping action. Super sharp out of the box, which is cool. The weight's 4.1 ounces. So you've got that beefy blade and full steel liner on this side. Uh, your liner lock in here. So you're going to get some weight out of that. Um, now this one's pretty smooth because it's running on ceramic ball bearings. So kind of a cool upgrade for a budget knife. Now I've seen these right around the $40 mark. Um, most recently, I've seen it for about $34.95. So check your favorite knife retailer for that. Also check out, um, yeah, I, I would just say your favorite one. Uh, right now, there, there's so many different companies carrying different ones, and some are out, some are in stock. So just check your favorite ones, and then go from there. You know, if you see my channel, you know there's some discounts being offered in different places, so... Anyways, let's take a look at it. So overall, it's a big knife, but I think it would compare to quite a few others that we like. Uh, let's go with the Benchmade 940 Osborne. It's going to be lengthwise pretty similar, pretty close, but at the same time, man, my knives are dirty. Man, I didn't even check that one. Carried that one for a couple days this last last week. But anyways. Yeah, so that's the uh, Benchmade 940 comparison. Um, we could do, let's another, I'm trying to see what would be good lengthwise. 
Uh, we got, what do we have over here? We have a Southern Grind Spider Monkey. So pretty similar uh, blade length, almost the same. About a quarter eighth of an inch difference. You got a lot more handle on the rampart, so that's kind of cool. And let's compare it to one more. Uh, I was trying to look for a Griptilian here. Where's my Griptilian? Because that's kind of a... Man, I'm so unprepared on this one. My apologies. The Griptilian was hiding. So there's my Benchmade Griptilian comparison. Pretty similar. Um, you know, the Rampart's going to be a little skinnier in width. Because these Griptilians kind of belly out a little bit. But anyways... Yeah, so CGRB's putting out some great knives. You know, I heard that there's some uh, some other ones coming up here in the next run. So I'd like to see kind of what they have coming out with that. I know they're hitting it on lots of Dama Steel and some other things and really kind of putting some effort into bringing some of the other knives up a little bit. But they're still keeping these budget ones loud and proud. So anyways, this is the CJRB Rampart. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're into a whole bunch of other knives, check out my vast library. I'm trying to catalog them for everybody. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I have a live stream because I like to do some giveaways. You guys have a great, great rest of your day. Do something kind for someone and take care.